Academia Seneca researchers have created a bacteria strain that can effectively convert the chemical methanol into fuels and other useful products. Unlike naturally occurring bacteria that eat methanol, this synthetic strain is capable of using methanol as its only source of carbon. The team's findings have been published in the international scientific journal Cell. E. coli isn't the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about recycling, but a breakthrough finding by Academia Sinica could give E. coli a key role in environmental sustainability. Academia Sinica researchers have created a strain of E. coli that can efficiently convert the methanol into useful products. Unlike other methanol-eating bacteria, this one can meet all of its carbon needs for methanol, making it an especially efficient converter. We evolved uh, an uh, E. coli, uh, basically a bacteria, to grow on methanol as a sole carbon source. So it's basically the sole uh, food source. Uh, we used um, um, genetic tools and then uh, used um, um, DNA manipulation tools to change the DNA inside uh, the bacteria, which is E. coli, inside your, uh, a kind of gut bacteria. And then we converted it to enable it to use a methanol as a, as a carbon source. This synthetic strain can be applied in the technologies available today to turn methanol into fuel, anti-cancer drugs, biodegradable plastics, and more. Once we, we develop this synthetic algorithm, uh, um, organism, we can tap into the existing technologies that people have developed for E. coli. We use E. coli as a base, so including CRISPR, including all the, the metabolic engineering, synthetic biology tools that have been applied to E. coli. We now can apply that to this synthetic methylotroph. Bacteria that eat methanol or methane, called methylotroph, exist out in nature. Researcher Frederick Chen said scientists have been trying to make one in the lab for more than a decade. Academia Sinica is the first to succeed. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Zhang Tingxiang in Taipei.